We have started the day by a series or a cluster of the earthquakes concentrated around the Hengul volcanic system in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland. Uh, the depth of most of them is around uh, 5 to 7 kilometers and they are concentrated around the Hengil area. This is the area I mark it for you now, you can see this. And they are concentrated also on the uh, short period of time. Very sharp concentration, you can see there. Almost like a, one of those cases that we had an eruption. It's interesting at this time also, we had one kilometer depth earthquake on the ground zero in the Grindavik. That's the area that we are expecting the eruption any moment. Uh, related also to the, uh, another volcanic system called the sourcing volcanic system. These are from the uh, movements of the plates and transferring of the movement through the transform fault, those black arrows shows them, through the volcanic system in this uh, recognized peninsula of Iceland. I have a video about the Hengil volcanic system and the importance of it. You please watch this video and remember that this is the area tectonically active we are seeing land being built there is a very common mistake according to which in iceland we have the boundary between the american plate and uh, eurasian plate this is wrong and why because we have another plate a less known plate between these two it's a micro plate it's called hropper micro plate this is where we have no earthquakes, no volcanism, yes, no volcanism, and no tremors of any kind that can actually threaten the life. Of course, this is in the central parts of the Iceland, where the western volcanic zone and the southern volcanic zone come in contact. The triple point of that is bounded what what we call as Hengil volcanic system. This is a nasty volcanic system, one of the biggest of the sequence of the volcanic systems in the Reykjanes Peninsula. It had erupted last time in 2000 years ago, and it has a large lava field. Because it's close to the glacials, it can be potentially explosive. At the moment, it is a source of the geysers, the geothermal uh, you know, uh, fountains of hot springs, as you can see here. And uh, they can erupt to a beautiful height, several hundred meters sometimes. This is because at the depth, the groundwater comes in contact with the uh, rocks which are heated by the magma from the previous eruptions. This is practically the lower to the middle part of the Ophiolite system that we know from the Oman, Cyprus, Iran, America, Australia, even Britain. These are the areas that the volcanic eruption happened in the past. Of course, this Reykjanes Peninsula has been active over the past few years. We had the Fagerdesfjold, Meridolo, Little Hortor, Sundunka, Hagafell, Grindavik, and again Sunduka too. Eruptions happening one after another. These volcanic systems are extending where the earth crust is extending and getting thinner and opening up a way for the magma to rise to form actually by the melting of the top part of the mantle and rise and erupt as lava. Each volcanic system on its own transfers the movement, the thinning of the ground from one system through this process of badinage, means sausage making. These are like a sausage rolls twisted at certain points, starting from the Atlantic Ocean in the Reckonus Ridge and then earthquakes transfer through that reach to the Reckonus Peninsula and through every single volcanic system that we have there, Elfdorf, Swartzengi, Fagedesfjol, Krisovik, Bernstein Fjol, and the last one is Hengil one. And the Hengil after that is, is a triple junction for the south and the western volcanic zones. So transferring of the movements happens there. Hengil is the last in the chain. When the others have erupted, Hengil will be the last one to erupt. And when the others have the tremors and movement, Hengil will be the last one to receive the movement, to accommodate the movement. Otherwise, they practically, they cannot move if they don't accommodate this movement. Hengil is always the last. 
So in that sense, we can say that this is difficult to move the hangul, and now the hangul, we have earthquakes in that area, which is now moving. The transformation of the movement from the Reconnaissance Ridge to the Reconnaissance Peninsula is not completed. And as the time goes by, when the Christovic volcanic system is awakening, next is the Bernstein fuel activated, and then the Hengel volcanic system. One by one, they will erupt in the future, over the next decades, probably.